specifically on that portion of the bill that pertains to the SAFE Act, the so-called SAFE Act. Mr. Speaker, in the 50-some days since we passed that bill, after a matter of minutes or hours of examining that in our other House, having reviewed it for a total of 30 minutes, the rest of the country now understands what those of us who did read it understood after only a few minutes of examination. It is poorly conceived. It was poorly drafted. It was passed in a way that is offensive to this body's procedures. But most important, it reflects an arrogance and a contempt for the traditions and the history and the beliefs upon which our country was founded. Mr. Speaker, despite the apparent ignorance of the Constitution displayed by the governor when he described these laws in the State of the State Address, and despite the demagoguery of an increasingly erratic billionaire who could not be elected dog catcher north of the Bronx, the Second Amendment is not about hunting. Mr. Speaker, they may not teach this much anymore in many of our public schools. But the shots that were heard around the world at Lexington and Concord were fired because of the actions of an arrogant and disdainful government that attempted to confiscate and make illegal the firearms of the citizenry. And therefore, for the record, let me state what the reaction has been to this act once the people north of the Bronx and with the exception of the People's Republic and certain other little hot spots of upstate, the rest of us have demanded that our elected county clerks will not administer this law. Our sheriffs, elected by the people, will not enforce this law. Our juries, who are the people, will not convict under this law. And our citizens, being free citizens and not subjects, will not obey this law. Mr. Speaker, the SAFE Act will become the most widely opposed and subject to the most civil disobedience of any recent statute passed by this body. This law will not stand because we know it has nothing to do with preventing crime or tragedy. It has to do with a political agenda that has been the goal of the far left for decades in this country. It must be repealed or amended from beginning to end, and because this bill does neither, I stand opposed to this law. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Nojay in the negative.